Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I've got something that I think a lot of you are going to find very useful, so let's take a look at what it does. And so what's happening there is we're alternating the order in which the pistons receive the pulses. And so let's take a look at how this works. Now I want you to keep an eye on these two torches over here. So now the top torch fired, and now the bottom torch fired, okay? so. Every time I press the button, we're alternating between the top circuit and the bottom circuit. And you can see over here, there's a long delay on this side in the top circuit, short delay on this side, and it's the opposite on the bottom. And that's how we're alternating between the, uh, the two pistons in terms of the order in which they fire. And you don't necessarily have to switch it every time. What you can do, um, another option that you've got, is to keep the long delay on the same side and the short delay over here on the other side and uh, and just change the the difference um, between the two uh, the two uh, sets of delay, right? So there's a lot you can do with this, and uh, and it's pretty versatile. So let's take a look at one example for uh, for how you can use this. And so I've got a block swapper over here. Now you might think, oh well, this thing's huge. Why would I want something this big? Well, there's a uh, there are a couple of uses for this. So. The first is, uh, say you've got a really tight space, right? And it's hard to fit your favorite block swapper design in there, and you can't really come up with one that'll fit. Well, what you can do is you can set this thing up way far away and run a, uh, run a couple of lines. All you need is these three lines here, and, uh, and you can organize them so they hit the pistons nice and easy, and, uh, and there you go. You've got a block swapper that can fit into that tight space. With, uh, with the bulk of the, the machine far away. Now the other thing that you can do is you can set this up so you're doing a lot of block swaps controlled by one circuit over here. And that's how I did that circle uh, block swapper. I had 30 something block swappers controlled by one main circuit. And, um, and this is actually an updated version of that original design. And so let's take a look at this. There we go and back. And so let's see how this thing works. The first thing to take a look at is over here I've got this monostable. All right, and I'm splitting the output of the monostable. We've got one coming up to this torch and one coming down to this torch. All right, and so each time I switch between which torch fires by using a demultiplexer and a T flip-flop, okay? So you can see the T flip-flop over here. That's this piston. And, uh, and this torch over here, and I actually found a use for putting torches on, uh, on glass blocks. This is the first time I've ever had to use that, and, uh, and I like it. And so, um, so every time I send a pulse through here, well, it switches uh, this on or off, okay? So that's the T flip-flop. And so right now it's on, and this, uh, this top torch is getting powered, so this one won't get fired. But this one down here, okay, so this is the torch we're looking at. Well, right now, because the T flip-flop is on, this torch is off. So when I pulse it, this bottom torch can fire. And so, uh, and so that's how we're alternating between which torch fires. So pretty cool. We'll take one more look at that. There we go. The top one went, and now the bottom one went. And, uh, and yeah, so let's keep an eye on that. So right now, the top part, this is off. And so the top torch can fire. There we go. Now if we look at the bottom now, well this torch over here that would normally power this wire, well that's off. So the bottom torch can fire, but up here, well the signal is on, so this one can't. So let's take a look. And there we go. And so that, I, uh, I have something, something else up there that I'll show you uh, soon. It's, uh, it's going to be kind of neat. Um, it's a little fun idea that I had, and uh, and actually it's why I was building this thing. I had a uh, a uh, tight space that I needed to do a block swap uh, in, and um, and yeah, so I decided to come back and redo this design. So uh, so look forward to that one. But but yeah, so I've got this uh, this neat little uh, alternating circuit here, and uh, I hope I gave you a good enough description as to how it works that you can so that you can replicate this and. Uh, and use it for whatever you'd like, make, make all your modifications to it and have fun with it. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.